So today I'm going to teach you how to solve the Rubik's Cube faster. Now, these tips could get you under a minute, but it would be pretty hard to get that. And, but it would definitely shorten your time. Well, first of all, you would need a fast cube. There's two ways you can get that. One, you get a DIY cube, like this. Goes a lot really fast. Or, put Jigaloo in it, like this. This is Jigaloo. The best lubricant you can possibly get for the Rubik's Cube. Or you can do both, even faster, <coughs> than I do. So, you get your cube, and we're going to lubricate it. So, so you get your cube like this, you pop it out. That My cube's easy because it's a DIY. Your cube might be a little harder, just poke a screwdriver in there or something. Pop it out, then take out the first three pieces like this. So then you have this little hole here. So I'm going to show you how it do it's done, but I've already lubricated mine with Jigaloo, so I don't want to over lubricate it. But you always want to have it in like an open space. See? Now, um, I'm just going to put in one spray, but you can put in two or three. Just like that. Then you put the cubes back in. You really only need to do that in one place. But if you notice that in other places, other sides of the cube aren't going as fast as the, uh, of the side you lubricated, put it in that side. It has a little bit of a smell, so you should do it with an open place or outside. Now, I've got a few algorithms for you. I'm just going to mix the cube. Okay, scramble. So, um, there's really no algorithms that I know to help you get the cross faster. That's just thinking ahead. So you can get the cross just the normal way. Okay. So after you get the cross and you want to get the corners in place, then there is a faster way. So we'll do the green, orange, white. Now, there can be three things that you'll have. You'll have the green on the bottom, the green on this side, or the green on this side. If it's on the bottom, if it's on, if it's on this side, you just do it once, right and right or down, right and right down like normal. If it's on the bottom like now, then you do this. You do right, down inverted, down inverted, right inverted, then down, then right inverted, down inverted, right down. Then you got into the place. Instead of having to do right inverted, down inverted three times. Then green, orange, yellow, right here. It's on the bottom again. So you do right inverted, down, down inverted, down inverted, right, down, right inverted, down inverted, right, down. Like that. Then green, yellow, red. Hold on. So and then when it's like this, you can just place, put it in just like normal. And then, now and then when it's on this side, You'll have to do right inverted, down inverted, right down five times to get in place, and that's a big time waster. So what you do is you turn it one time left to the slot, open the slot, bring it in, and close the slot, like that. And finger tricks. Definitely you want to learn finger tricks. These are finger tricks. Just like that. Using your fingers to power one side of the cube without having to use your whole hands, like this. Right and left, just use your right and left hands. Down, use these fingers. Um, back, you can use it like that. I don't use it that much. Front, like that. And um, that's really that's really all you can possibly do. I'll, um, after you get the cross, after you solve the two middle layers, there's a faster way you can get it done. I'll show you that once I get these done. Okay, so there's another algorithm you can learn to get um to get the line to the cross or the dot to the cross really fast. 
first of all the li it goes in this order the dot then the then the l then the line then the cross it goes in that order so if i do front right up right inverted up inverted front inverted this will go to the cross but i can skip two and get to the one after this so let me show you i'm gonna get to the l see now i'm gonna take the l straight to the cross i'm skipping the line so instead of having to do two algorithms i'm only gonna do one um so it's it's like right, front right up right inverted up inverted front inverted except it's front up right up inverted right inverted front inverted you skip two and you went to the line and then um Really, that's all there is to it. You don't want to open up the cube and lubricate it until you know how to solve the cube and you're pretty good at it. Otherwise, you can put the cubes in the wrong place and you got a problem if you don't know how to solve it. So, that's really all I can tell you. Please subscribe and comment to this video. Thank you.